Very good evening everybody. Blackpool Golf Course. This is where you join me Saturday the 31st of August 2019 on a very nice evening. Thank you very much for joining myself and this video and firstly the most important thing is I must thank everybody who is continuing to watch my videos. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Now as said we're at Blackpool Golf Course opposite Stanley Park. The hospital. That is the building that you can see in between the trees. The Victoria Hospital. Now just to make sure you know where we are there's the main road and there's the first part of Blackpool Golf Course adjacent to Stanley Park. I'm now just going to move back into the shade. I'm on the second part of Blackpool Golf Course now. I have opened my video this evening from here as I have received and seen news about what may happen here at this Blackpool golf course on this second part of the course. The first part is across the road. Yes, it's in two parts this course. Nine holes here and nine holes across the road. Very unique. I must quickly add that this is not breaking news to some people. However, I think it's breaking news to more than I've previously said to some people. The BBC picked it up two days ago and the local newspaper picked it up one day ago, yesterday, the same day as the lighting of the illuminations. This is what I can tell you. Plans have been submitted for a 250 holiday lodges and an adventure zone to be actually built where we have just left on that nine hole second part of Blackpool Golf Club. Now plans have been submitted as I've just said. Not everybody has liked this. In fact more than 7,500 people have signed a petition against these proposals. A councillor, in fact, wants a public consultation previous to anything actually taking place here on this valuable land. It is hoped that I have reported this in a responsible manner and anybody interested in this, everything is available to you all information is available to you on the internet and I think my job is finished here now so I'm going to now catch the bus back into Blackpool so as I can visit our next venue. Whilst I am making the journey back to Blackpool I will leave in text all the details of everybody involved in this application. Our next venue with news is Blackpool North train station. We are now on the platform of Blackpool North train station. Now, again, this happened yesterday, Friday, the 30th of August, the day of the switch on of the illumination. Now, something happened here in a very big way at Blackpool North train station. Northern Rail unveiled their new trains now, I did not know anything about this. There was very important people here from Northern Rail. Now, what's going to happen is 
that this route will receive new trains and these trains one of the routes they will run will be from Blackpool North to Liverpool Lime Street this route starting Monday the 9th of September 2019 Monday week in fact all this information that again I am relaying to you I have researched from the internet I have always received wonderful help from the staff of Blackpool North train station however nobody was available this evening to tell me everything about this so as said it's all researched from the internet when it is possible I will make a video telling you everything about this but I can quickly add that I notice that from next year there are five new uh, direct trains from Blackpool to London this is what I'm reading on the internet five new direct trains from Blackpool to London from next year the trains will leave Blackpool North for London 6 57 a.m. 8 10 a.m. 11 50 a.m. 3 48 p.m. and 5 13 p.m. this is what I'm reading in front of me on the internet yes as said when I can and when it's possible I will make a full video and report about what is happening we now leave Blackpool North Station to start our visit to our usual five venues welcome back Talbot Road 6 p.m. Saturday evening and it is getting quite lively down here so I'm just going to show you the top of the road now and then proceed to Edward Street it's very lively here at the moment we are now making our way down to Edward Street now I can tell you that this will all be a voiceover there is a very very strong wind incredibly strong wind and it has been about all day so I'm told now I can tell you that I have some interesting news about the company that is working down here and that is Sisk I hope you find this interesting as I take you for our walk all down Edward Street where all this work is taking place oh there's the builders name there sis contractors you've seen that many many times now this is what I have found on the internet again just one or two days old they have a huge project on the go at Wembley London they are making a multi-story car park at this site a new machine has been introduced a very exciting machine indeed straight from New York please let me try to explain I will do my best here it is known as a mule yes a mule m-u-l-e its full title is this material unit lift enhancer I'll just say that again material unit lift enhancer the first letter of each of those four four words makes mule m-u-l-e clever isn't it this machine can lift up to 134 pounds in weight which makes bricks and blocks 
waitlist. At this site at Wembley, they are working with blocks which are now 890 millimetres long, twice as large as normal blocks. And these are all transported via this mule. Through my research the last couple of days about this, I find that this is the first time outside of America that this machine has been used. And CISC hope and will soon have one of these machines or more at their sites. This obviously will help all the bricklayers and all the other contractors involved in all building as well. I do hope you found that interesting. Now, anybody who wants to follow up on this and find more about this machine, simply go to John Sisk on the internet and you will even find a picture of it. I found it very interesting and all I can do is to hope that everybody who watches this video finds it interesting as well. We will move on now to our next venue. It is about 6.15pm now, Saturday evening, and we are now at the site of the Premier Inn. And we're going to have a look now across the road. An awful amount of work completed this week internally. I am told that, in fact, internally, it is coming on by leaps and bounds. Leaps and bounds here. I will just walk you to the end of the rear of this Premier Inn now, and we will soon turn the corner. We have now turned the corner, and we are at the side of the site now and I would just like to show you again this is an artist's impression of the finished hotel with all the information here of how it will look there we are I'll let you have a look at that And it is now my pleasure to show you the real thing. Yes, it looks, they're both the same, aren't they? They are both one now. The side view of this Premier Inn Hotel. To complete our visit to the Premier Inn, we go to the front of it now and we can see all the scaffold work finished, all the scaffold board in place, and all the security netting all fully placed. Looking in to the caged area, of the work taking place along Corporation Street. On either side of the footpath, you will notice extensive work that has taken place throughout this week. No machinery left here again this weekend due to it going to be very busy. Oh, I'll just show you this. I'll just let you have a look at this, this sign here telling you everything. It's funny how time goes so quickly. This must be now the fifth or sixth week, I think. 
It goes so quickly time, I cannot keep up with it. Proceeding down here now. And all the angled curb work over there for the buses, the six, the nine and the 14 bus routes when they return. And now the start of the widening of the road area. This is for the taxis and for the lay-by. We will leave here now and proceed to the Sands Venue Resort Hotel. Welcome back. And we are now at the first of two sides of the Sands Venue Resort Hotel. I can tonight, it's about 7pm this evening, on this glorious Saturday evening, I can walk you around the two sides, the rear and the front of this hotel. Emphasis will be on the roof. You've just seen all the roof work here from this first side. A full on view of the rear. Please notice all the work taking place on the roof here. Our usual view from the rear looking to the front of this hotel. We are now at the second of the two sides and this will show and tell an awful lot. You can see all the steel works working from the outside into the inside. A lot of progress here. A clip now through the security netting from the front to the rear. A view from the pavement across the road looking towards the front of this hotel. And again, you can notice the wonderful progress of the roof construction here of the extra stories and the roof. You can see all the progress of the steelwork from the outside progressing to the inside. Marvellous progress here this week at this Sands Venue Resort Hotel. And you can see scaffold boards, some of them in place, and most of the scaffold in place. With a view of the promenade on this glorious sunny evening, I would like to close up this video. Firstly, thanking everybody again who watches these videos. It means such a lot to me and I really hope that you have enjoyed this one. I have enjoyed it very, very much. I wish you a very good weekend and yes, this has been a very, very busy three or four days in Blackpool. Bye-bye.